Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 13. And in this tutorial, I am gonna show you guys how to create inline forms and horizontal forms. So the first thing that you guys are gonna notice is that I've already got uh, a lot of code over here and this is actually the form from the previous tutorial. So if you guys haven't watched tutorial number 12, you need to go back and watch that and then you can come back and watch tutorial number 13 and you will be good to go. But uh, yeah, uh, we've got this form over here and it is exactly the same as it was in tutorial number 12, except what I did do is I changed this heading to, to say inline form instead of uh, horizontal form. So uh, if I come back to my browser and I just refresh this to what the code looks like now, then uh, this is our form and this is what it looks like now and we want to inline it to this position that you guys actually just saw uh, a moment ago. So to do that is actually really, really, really easy. I, can't, I cannot even stress to you how easy that is uh, now that we have this form already set up because all I need to do is go over to my form tag over here and add a class so I'm going to give this a class of form dash inline and I'm gonna hit save and bam, there we go. Our work is complete. So if I come back over to uh, the browser over here and I hit refresh, would you look at that? We have an inline form. So email address, password, everything's all next to each other. And I guess ideally this would not be a file upload button if this was gonna be like a login form where we needed an email address and a password. What we might have over here is a checkbox that says, uh, remember me. So yeah, this is just how I set the form up. I know it's not, <laughs> um, the, having a file upload here kind of means nothing, but if you guys ever wanna change that, obviously, I'm sure you can do that. Okay, so that is our inline form done. Now let's show you how to make a horizontal form. And this is gonna be slightly more complicated because we're gonna have to change up some of the code over here and give some of this uh, some extra classes. So uh, the first thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna change this heading to uh, horizontal form. I'm also gonna change my forms class to read uh, form horizontal instead of form in line, because that is a class that we're going to need to create a horizontal form. And the next thing we've got to do is go over to each one of our labels and we're gonna to have to add a class as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in this class attribute. And the first thing I wanna do is add a column size of col sm two, so that means that on a small device or anything bigger than a small device, this column uh, or this label is gonna take up two columns, okay? And we're also gonna give it a class of control dash label. So that is our class set up for the label. I can go ahead and copy that and paste it on every one of these labels. Uh, okay, the submit button doesn't have a label. <laughs> and then the next thing we can do is go over to each one of these input elements. And we're actually gonna have to surround that in a div. So I'm gonna create all my spacing and I'm gonna create my div now. And I'm gonna give this div a class of col sm. And remember bootstrap has 12 columns. So if our label is gonna take up two columns, I can go ahead and set my div, uh, which holds this input element to take up 10 columns and that's just gonna take up all the rest of the space remaining. Okay, and then if I go ahead and end this div off, that is our uh, horizontal form complete for this row. Now let's go ahead and continue uh, just setting up the rest of these rows. So I'm actually going to uh, just copy paste. So copy and we'll paste that and I'm gonna tab that in. And thank goodness that uh, Sublime can end off my tags quite quickly. And uh, again, 
This is probably going to be boring for you guys just watching me format all the code real quick, but uh, there we go, we're done. So let's go ahead and hit save. And if I come back over to the browser and hit refresh, you can see that now I've got um, my email address set up, I've got a password button set up, etc. But what I haven't done is uh, fix the submit button. So um, if I really want to line that up with everything else, then I could go ahead and um, give this a class as well, just ending div. But then I'm going to either have to push it to columns, so uh, call uh, sm push to, I think, I believe that is the code. Let's go ahead and hit save and uh, refresh. And there we go. We now have my submit button lined up with all the rest of the content, just like that. And that is how you create a horizontal form. So that's all I have for you guys in this video, but don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.